Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreath and it is July 1st, 2022, if you can believe that. So we're going to talk Wimbledon as we get ready to start the third round. There's actually a couple of second round matches that did not finish last night because of darkness. So we're technically not quite there. But let's take a look at the ladies draw because unlike my men's picks, my lady picks are looking pretty good. Corey Goff was my pick to win the tournament, and she had a nice win yesterday. 6-2-6-3 over Mihaila Buzernescu. And she'll move into the third round to play a tough opponent, Amanda Anisimova. The uh, next seed in her section is out. Uh, Karolina Pliskova is out. Sarah Cerebes Tormo is out. Harmony Tan, who beat Serena Williams and Tormo into the third round against Katie Bolter. So my golf pick's looking pretty good so far. Um, Bedosa and Kvitova are going to play tomorrow in the third round. Kvitova looked amazing against Anna Bogdan. Bedosa dominating her first two opponents. Halep ended the career of Kristen Flipkins yesterday. Flipkins retiring after Wimbledon. Gave up a good effort though. Five and four. Maggie Freck took out Georgie. So Halep Kvitova Bedosa, tough little section in that draw. I like my chances with Goff. Um, also in that half, Pegula over Dart. Dart fell apart in the third set there yesterday. Uh, Martic over Shelby Rogers, bit of an upset on grass. That'll be a great match. Rabakina took out Andrescu. And young Kinwin Zhang continues her winning way over Greta Menin. Krejcikova, 2-0. She'll play Ilya Tom Lianovic. That'll be a great match. Swiatek, 2-0 on the grass. Struggled to get by Kirkovi in the second round. Needed three sets. Alize Cornet awaits. <coughs> I'm still going to say Jabors. Or no, Goff on that page. Jabors the next page. We'll get to that in a second. Swiatek, though. She's looking... Pretty good out there, and uh, I mean, any of these girls can win it. It's amazing the depth in ladies tennis. It's funny as we sit here in 2022, I can't help but think back to 1992, which is one of my favorite years as a sports fan, especially in the world of tennis. There's so many amazing tennis matches and tournaments that happened in 92, especially Wimbledon. My goodness could do a video on 92 Wimbledon alone, but uh, we'll hold off on that. Yeah, I mean, it, it wouldn't surprise me, really, to see any of these ladies take this page and go to the finals. I mean, you've got a mixture of veterans, you've got top players who... I question whether or not they had enough experience on grass to, to go deep, but they're, they're proving that they can play. And it's always great to see some surprises. Harmony Tan, Katie Bolter, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, those matches tomorrow. Today's matches, someone I've had my eye on for the past four to six months, slowly climbing up the rankings, is Jewel Niemeyer of Germany. And breaking news, she has just won her third round match over Lesia Serenko. Seeds in that area are gone. Bensic, Haddad Maia, Kalanina, Kontaviet, gone. Niemeyer has taken out Kontaviet and now Serenko. This could be her chance to make a deep run. I had Jabor in the finals and she is just starting her match right now. Third round, she beat Kawa in the second round, four and love. Bjorklund 1 and 3, so she's on fire. Diana Perry, third round. I don't care who you are, if you can win two matches, it means you're on a roll. Kerber Mertens, I mean, good players, but uh, I've just seen so many good things out of Jabor this year and this month on grass. Well, technically June now, last month. Again, more seeds are out. Radu Kanu is out. We've got, uh, what else do we got up there? Little Marie Buzkova, good girl. Took out the seed, Collins. Ali Risk, Buzkova, that'll be a good match. 
Garcia, she's on a roll. Last week she won the tournament in Bad Homburg. She took out uh, Raducanu. She's got Zhang Shui, who's also a great grass court player. Buskova risks Zhang Shui, Garcia, Kerber Mertens, Perry, Jabor. I mean, you got to consider Jabor the favorite out of all that. Again, anyone can win this. Uh, bottom half, Zachary against Tatiana Maria. Asta Panko was my pick to go to the semis. Is she still in there? She actually just won her third round match too. We're a little late getting going today. Irina Camilia Begu into the second round. But Asta Panko has taken care of her. Zachary Maria, the winner of that, plays Asta Panko. I'm sticking with Asta Panko. Niemeyer, Juvan, Juvan and Watson are the other ones. Again, I. Zachary could pull it off, but I'm going to stick with Ostapenko. I'm going to say Niemeyer beats the winner of Watson and Juvon and gets to the quarters. But look at that. I'm actually sticking with my picks. Now the men, right after I made my picks for the men, I, I said it would be Berrettini over Hercaz. Berrettini pulled out with COVID. Hercaz was eliminated in the first round. So I said, well, the two guys I picked to make the semifinals may as well be my picks to make the finals because of their names, Djokovic and Nadal. <laughs> Interestingly enough, Nadal and Djokovic both needed four sets to win their first round match and in the second round, Nadal needed four sets to get by Barankas. Djokovic, three sets over Kokonakis. <clears throat> and now, this is where there's just some really, really strange, surprising names. Let's go to the top half because they've already started. Djokovic will play Miomar Kecmanovic today. Seed number one versus seed number 25. And the winner of that will play Tim Van Rieslevin. What a victory he had out of nowhere. In a, was it Denbosch two weeks ago? The guy never even won an ATP match. They give him a wild card at home. He beat Medvedev and he won the tournament. Now he's won three matches at Wimbledon. Delbonis, Opelka, and Basil Ashley. There's some talent right there. Straight sets over Basil Ashley. Just finished a few minutes ago. But you got to think Djokovic won't have a problem with these guys. Quarterfinal. Carlos Alcaraz proving he can play on grass. Struff out. Greeks poor. Good player. Alcaraz got him. Alcaraz to play Oscar Ute. Listen to these scores. Ute, 6-1, 6-2, 6-1. First round over Goycek. Second round, Christian Harrison, 3-1. Retire. Some sort of injury. But Ute basically into the third round with less than two hours on court. Still, the way Alcaraz has shown good form, I think he's probably going to beat Ute. Tough section up next. Isner with a tough win over Murray. Isner needed five in his first round match to beat Kawakud. Murray needed four to get by Duckworth. Isner over Murray was a, a long four setter. Isner will play Sinner. Again, two four set matches for Sinner. Stan Vabrenka, Mikhail Emer. Isner Sinner, that's going to be a lot of fun. Isner has the experience. He's got the big serve on grass, but this Alcaraz guy is just really showing a lot of talent. Again, I questioned at the beginning of the week what he could do on grass. He's winning matches, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> Isner could win these matches, but... Again, it's hard not to pick Djokovic in that section. Ugo Umber won a grass court title last year. Took out Casper Ruud, who made a joke that grass was a f for golfing on. David Goffin, not really a grass quarter, but he's won a couple matches. He'll play Humbert in the third round. So I'm going to put Humbert into the fourth round. TFO and Bublik, two guys who can play very well on grass, are on court right now. A set apiece. <clears throat> wow, 
that's a tough one to pick. And uh, the rest of that section, Cam Norrie. Tommy Cam Norrie, Steve Johnson benefited of a, a Grigor Dimitrov retirement due to injury. Tommy Paul, two nice wins. Vesely needed five to get by Davidovich Fokina, who of course had two five set matches. I think Nori has a chance to go to the quarters there. Maybe even the semis. Um, it's wide open. Bublik, Tiafo, Goffins, Humbert. But again, I like Djokovic. I'm, I'm sticking with that pick. I don't see him. Uh... Did I pick Nadal over Djokovic? I can't even remember now who I picked in the final. So let's switch to that page. Sock and Cressy. Um, second round match did not finish last night, so they're still playing. Kubler and Novak, the other part of that draw, is also still in the second round. They didn't finish that match either. Cressy, serving and volleying, looking really good. Sock had a great couple of weeks leading into Wimbledon. He had to play the qualifying, and he won his three matches. Sock won the first two sets last night. But then Cressy came back today and won the third set, so that match is uh, still very much up for grabs. Kubler, Novak, I mean, I'm going to give Cressy or Sock the winner of that, the chance. But Fritz will play Mulcan. Fritz is looking really good. I think Fritz is into the quarters there. He's got Mulcan today. Nadal up next. He's got Lorenzo Sanigo. I think he can beat him. Chilich was in that section of the draw, and he got eliminated with COVID-19, so that seed is not there. Richard Gasquet still going. Two big wins. Uh, including Mackenzie McDonald. Botic van de Zanschop will play Gasquet today. I've got a bit of a, a runny nose today, folks, but uh, I think Nadal will take care of Sanigo. And van de Zanschop, Gasquet, that could go five sets. Then Nadal will clean house. I'm still liking Nadal. Um, we didn't talk about the top part of this page. Again, Berrettini was eliminated due to COVID. So Christian Guerin has taken up that section of the draw with two nice wins. Jensen Brooksby uh, seeded. We also saw an amazing match. Liam Brody yesterday won the first set against Diego Schwartzman, lost the second set, and lost 11 games in a row. From 4-all, he lost 4-6, then he lost 6-love, then he was down 3-love, and then he miraculously turned things around. From down three love, he forced a, a tie break, won the fourth set, and then 6 1 in the fifth. Um, Brody, very popular uh, local player from uh, Great Britain, and uh, I had a chance to watch some of that match on my lunch hour yesterday. He'll now play Alex Diminar, who had a tough four setter over Draper that went late. <laughs> Garen Brooksby, Diminar, Brody. One of them is in the quarters. Got to think Diminar is the slight favorite for all that, but who knows? Brody's. It could be his destiny. Shapovalov out to Nakashima. Gallon Rivero's a forfeit win over Batista Algu. Probably the best grass court Spanish player. Well, Nadal, you got to say, but. Gallon Riveros, a clay corner against Nakashima. Whoever wins that is going to have to take on either Sitsi Pass or Kyrgios, both of whom looked amazing yesterday. Sitsi Pass over Jordan Thompson, Kyrgios over Krajanovic. <coughs> I think Sitsi Pass, Kyrgios, the winner of that, is going to the semis. I think as great as Kyrgios is with a talent, I think Sitsi Pass has got to be the pick. He's just a little more consistent. Sitsipas can get off to a quick start. Kyrgios sometimes gets frustrated. His temper gets the better of him. And he doesn't play his best tennis. I'm going to say Nadal and Sitsipas in that semi, the top seeds. And uh, yeah, so that's enough of that. It's time to watch some more tennis, so enjoy the matches, folks. <laughs>